Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. Today we're doing a cold open for a game called Vikings, the Wolves of Midgard. So, um, yeah. Obviously, we've got Norse mythology. We have combat. We have anger. We have violent Vikings. Yes! Look at the beard. It is ready for this. I was born to play this role. But, um, yeah, from what I know of Vikings and the trailers that I've actually looked at previously, this looks to be a Diablo-style kind of dungeon crawler with a Norse mythology theme, which is awesome. I like this idea. I'm on board with this concept. Um, I'm just curious to see how well it's executed. And if it's well executed well, then damn, I am looking forward to seeing a shitload of this. Mmm. Logo. See, where is that familiar? I know I've played a Calypso game before, or is this an engine name, possibly? I don't even know. <sighs> right. Games farm. I, I don't know if I actually enjoy games that come from a farm, but um, I know they were... How was it? I like games from a can. They were put there by some men in a factory downtown. Now, if I had my little way, I... I, <laughs> I can't even think of the lyrics of how it actually would work. Yeah, that was maybe Peaches mixed into playing video games. I don't know. It's like, don't question me. I'm waiting for a load screen to finish. So what we got? We got warriors. Warrior. Shield maiden. Fucking shield maiden to hell, yes. Yes, Mohawk. I do different colors? No, nope, they're all gonna be born blondy. Uh blonde, black, ginger. Yes, fucking ginger, damn right. Yes! My warrior woman. Uh tattoos, yes, clan symbol. Ba -ba -ba -ba. And we are ready to rock and roll! Oh. Oh! Oh, damn! Do I go bow? Uh, see, I like our long range, but I know for a fact... Do uh, you know what? Fuck this. Double-handed axe, motherfuckers. Yes! If your dies in Valhalla mode, death will be permanent. Fucking right! Yes! We are going Loki. We are going Valhalla. We are preparing for war. Tona Silche! Tona Selchie, we are playing with you. Let's, uh, we look for a glorious death. All right, Tona Selchie, let's jump in here. Uh, fuck, uh, why not? Let's jump in as a warrior at normal. So, is neither wheel nor arrow. It flows like a river with all its whirls and torrents. Now, it flows towards icy death for all the nine worlds. As the world line grows. Us, as the ancient conflict between the gods of Aesir and the angels of Vanir erupts once more. Okay. In Nippelheim, the frost giants unleash the great ice upon the shores of Midgard. Oh, a new ice age. The harbinger of Ragnarok, the end of all things. Who would have thought that Ulfung village, home to outcasts and renegades, would give rise to she who might save us all. Ooh, that's me! I'm looking forward to this. Come on. Let me start beating up things. I want to beat up some things. I want to beat up some things with my axes. Cleave them in twain, I say. of being in Grimnir's way. The giants had no quarrel. Fuck you, Grimnir. But that was about to change. Yes. Come on. Let me go in there. I want to go and hit on. Let me go ahead, a giant. Oh, it's, it is. It does feel like a... All right. Yep, 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 yeah. It is a dungeon keep us style thing. Oh, yeah. All right, so... Left stick is movement, right stick is dodge. Uh, we have only... Oh, yeah, all right. So we have one special attack currently because we're level one. But until then, we actually need to level up. Cool. Um... Blood for Boom! Roll requires... Uh, yes, okay. So that's how we use roll. Aha. Yeah, bitch. 
Oh man, the whole city's coming. Whole town's gone. I am unstoppable. Fucking right, I am. Die, fuckers! Jesus! Okay. <laughs> Fell the giant. Oh, 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 glorious. It feels so good to start with. Give me his weapon. I want to use it. All right, so we're following the map down here. We're going to keep going to the bottom left to actually make our way to the exit. For glory in combat. For glory in combat. We returned at last. Yotan raided our village. He slew the chieftain and most of our warriors. Son of a bitch. There are still a few survivors left. Slay the attack here. I hope it serves me better than it served him. Oh, okay. Well, healing items. There we go. Uh, L1 to heal. So we got, I'm assuming it's on cooldown. Yas. Yas, queen. All right, you fucks. Come here. Time for me to kick some fucking ass. <laughs> okay, I can't seem to get in through that door. I the bastard. Hey, you cowards! <laughs> oh no! Somebody's going to be hurt. Get the fuck away from my villagers! Oh. We can rebuild later. Ilga and Heldebrand. Well, that's Heldebrand. Are you coming with? Oh, nice! We have a troop now! <laughs> Let battle continue. Hearing any. Oh, there we go. Find it. Oh, time to kill. Time to kill. Keep moving. Hey, fuckheads. Plan will fight on until every one of us has drawn our last breath. I need all three of us to actually be able to break the meat hall door. That uh, makes so much sense. That's somebody shouting mum. Hey, fuckhead, come here. Down you go. <laughs> You're mine now. I'm getting on board with this. I'm liking it. Reward for the mission. So essentially it is, it's just a top-down scrabbler uh, with a backstory of a Norse mythology. And I can't, I, there's nothing I can really begrudge on that. It's, it just, I imagine skill sets increase over time. The whole point is to play and level up and gain more loot and get better and gain more loot and get better and keep on doing it over and over again. 
I could imagine this probably getting uh, monotonous for some, but if you're into the lore and the history, if you actually like Viking mythology, then this is fucking, this is, this would be right up your goddamn street. So I'd, I, I'm probably going to play more of this, actually. Um, you know what? I think I might actually just take the teaser of the first bit of information that we've got from there. Um, I recommend, if you're going to do this, go for the Valhalla difficulty. Or not Valhalla difficulty, but Valhalla mode. Because you are there for glory, and you must keep yourself alive. Essentially, it's um, that terrifying survival mode that appears in so many other games, like XCOM and whatever else, where you get permadeath and no saves. But, um, yeah. Guys, thank you very much for actually checking this out. This has been a very quick video checking out Vikings Wolves of Midgard. It's something that actually I saw pass by a while ago, and I don't, I didn't hear much fanfare from it. But for what, for the aesthetics, the way it's uh, put together, the uh, character designs, the uh, enemy types, which being like essentially giants versions of like the same fighters of each other, but like we're just fighting Jotun warriors at the moment. We're fighting ice giants and stuff. It's got, it, there's going to be variety and interest there based around the history and mythology of the Norse group, Norse peoples, I suppose. I was going to say the Norse Vikings, but I was going to like, there's Vikings from other places, wouldn't there be? It's just Norse. There Are they all Norse? Eh. Either way, those people up there that have the history of the raping and the pillagings and the prepare for Ragnarok, and of course, their history is based on, their history and mythology is based for Thor and whatever else. So yes, uh, guys, thank you very much for Thor, as in like the comic character Thor. Thank you very much for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the first few minutes of Vikings uh, War Wolves. I keep saying Warriors. Wolves of Midgard. If you enjoyed me talking about it and want to see more of this game, make sure to comment underneath and share the video so that people know to see this. If I see that you like it, then I know I should be doing more of it. And if you want to see more videos on the channel of different games of different types, make sure to hit the subscribe button way up there. And of course, hit the follow and like and whatever else, any other direction, wherever you may be watching this. Now, if you don't want to bother doing any of those things, if you don't like doing that kind of thing, then you, of course, can just search for me. It's easy enough. Just remember the name, Pastiche of Skin. I'm not trying to hide. I'm somewhere on the internet. I'm not that far away. And if you happen to be watching this on YouTube, a couple of boxes will appear right up here on the screen. Uh, that one will be more cold open episodes of the from this channel. On the far side will actually be the most recent video on the channel. And right here, this one right over here, this one will actually be a video for you because it'll be based on the YouTube analytics off of your own watching materials. So this one will be one that you know you will like if you have actually made it this far into this video. So uh, yeah, check that one out. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see all you dudes in the next Niflheim. That makes sense? Either way, bye!